Hans Party. The non-violent violent radical party is deeply concerned about the systematic violation of freedom of opinion and expression in Iran and China. These two countries are spearheading the list of imprisoned journalists worldwide with at least, at least 34 journalists in jail on December 1, 2010, according to a recent report released by the Committee to Protect Journalists. In addition, Reporters Without Borders considers them world's top violators of internet freedom, highlighting that China's Great Firewall is the world's most consummate th censorship system. Since the protest following the June 2009 presidential elections, the Iranian government is sustaining a widespread crackdown on journalists and press. Dozens of critical reporters have been detained since then. Many of them were sentenced to harsh prison terms to up to 10 years on charges like propagating against the regime, while the only thing they did was carrying out their work. When it comes to China, the scenario is frighteningly sim similar. Authorities are cracking down on journalists, jailing especially ethnic press like Uyghur and Tibetan journalists for exercising their right to freedom of expression. Persecutory measures of Uyghur's freedom of speech have significantly increased since the tragic July 2009 events in Urumqi, converting 2010 in an especially black year for Uyghur media workers. Nearly a dozen Uyghur journalists, bloggers and website staffs, among them Khaled Nias, Gulmide Imin, Mehmetjan Abdullah, Dilshad Perhat and Tursun Jan Hesim, have been sentenced to harsh prison terms, including life imprisonment and closed and unfair trials. Most of them were convicted on charges of endangering state security, charges that are regularly and arbitrarily misused by Chinese authorities to silence peaceful Uyghur dissent. Also, Chinese government censorship and misrepresentation of recent events, such as the well-deserved Nobel Peace Prize for Liu Xiaobo or the revolt in Egypt, clearly show that press freedom is not a freedom Chinese citizens enjoy. Violating clearly Article 35 of its own constitution, which theoretically guarantees free speech and media freedom. We call on the Human Rights Council to strongly support and defend an end of the systematic persecution of freedom of expression both in, in Iran and China. In addition, the Human Rights Council must urge the governments to uncover.